Good morning. It's day 108 and I'm hiking. And there's a lot of mosquitoes, but I don't think it's quite mosquito hell yet. Pretty sunny and hot, um, but at least the sun keeps the mosquitoes away. We're hanging out four miles before our campsite. There you are. Oh. <laughs> and there's no mosquitoes and it's shady and I don't want to leave because I don't want to hike anymore. But I also want to get to camp so I can two be and done a half hiking. Days. Two and then and two and a half, four days to Crater Lake. Yeah. <laughs> That's important that we get good food and I want chips. Chips are good. <laughs> so we'll get up and keep hiking. Forest Jungle Gym. We've made it to our campsite next to this big pile of rocks. And we're kind of on a, a ridge. So the breeze is coming through and it feels nice and cooling, but also it's keeping the mosquitoes away. So it's an amazing and perfect campsite, and we're really excited. So. Yes. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good morning. It's day 109, and we're getting started for the day in the land of mosquitoes. Not too bad this morning, though. They only bit me like 12 times on my butt. Um, but I was going to the bathroom. So we just filled up uh, our water and it's the last water until we get to Crater Lake tomorrow afternoon. So filled up for 20 miles, 10 more miles today, 10 more miles tomorrow. So I got, I have a little over six liters that I'm carrying at two pounds per liter. An extra 12 pounds in the pack. Definitely feeling it, but we've got some downhill ahead, so that'll be good. Mm, maybe try going with your butt first. Or just throw your poles. <laughs> And now you're going to jump on your poles, I'll move them. We have 1.2 more miles till we get to our planned campsite. 1.2, I can do. <laughs> point 0.3 still, go do point 0.3. <laughs> 0.3, Dory has to pee. 0 0.2 we can do 0 0.2 it's not time to poo oh. we're counting down the number of miles left to our yeah. campsite keeping ourselves entertained 0 0.1 we're almost done. Zero point zero. We are heroes. <laughs> this is my 
my emotional support nut bag that I've carried since Campo, California. And every time I go to a new town, I add more nuts to it, but then never eat the nuts. <laughs> and how does it provide you emotional it's support? Like, if you, it doesn't make sense because we get new food every time. But like, I just feel like if I really ran out of food, I would always have my emotional support nut bag. Because I know I'll never eat it in any other circumstance unless I absolutely need to. <laughs> That's what it is. I'll never eat this unless I have to. It's your emergency it's rations. It's my emergency rations. That makes I sense. You have emergency rations of food that you have to like. <laughs> right? That you have to like? No, like you could have emergency rations of food that yeah, you have to like. Yeah, it's like that emergency, the emergency box you have at your house in case of an of a earthquake or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you'd have food in there that you actually like. It doesn't have to be food that you've carried for like 1,200 miles. <laughs> Which is kind of what that bag <laughs> <laughs> We all carry some kind of emotional support extra stuff. For me, it's water. <laughs> for, for, for Trudge, it's a nut bag. <laughs>